um, as asked you to come along so that we could provide you some information in relation to an event that we believe is going to occur um, during the week. Um, the Gypsy Jokers motorcycle gang, um, we understand, are going to conduct a poker run. We're going to answer some questions for you, and I have here with me Acting Chief Superintendent Andrew Morrow from the State Traffic Task Force and um, Chief Superintendent Anne McDonald from the Metro North Police Area. So, have you got any questions? Why is this poker run such a concern? The, the Queensland Police Service um, um, is aware that members of the public can feel intimidated by um, a large number of outlaw motorcycle gangs. Um, we are also aware that there can be offences, uh, there are offences conducted by outlaw motorcycle gangs. We have no particular intelligence to indicate that there is any offences going to occur or that there is any risk to public at this stage. But what we are doing is making sure that we are in a position to manage this run and make sure that the traffic um, is uh, adhered to um, and that any offences are committed um, that we take um, responsibility for and that um, the members of the public are kept safe. The Queensland Police Service uh, priority is to make sure that the members of the community remain safe and that they are not intimidated by any large show of um, strength by any outlaw motorcycle gang members. Where are you expecting them to meet? Um, they, they, they do have a, a base here in Everton Park um, but that's all the information they have at this time. So you know where, the, where this run is supposedly going? At this, stage, at this stage, we don't have any intelligence as to where it is actually going, but we will continue to work and, and conduct intelligence to find out where that is. And what day? Uh, it's over the next few days. How nervous do police get when large groups of these outlaw motorcycle bikers get together like this? The Queensland Police Service makes sure that we um, have the correct planning in place to, to, to prevent disrupt or take any action in relation to any activity that might occur. At this stage, the poker run is not an unlawful activity um, and anything that we un understand at this time is not illegal. So we will be there to be ensure the members of the public's safety that there is nothing illegal occurs and, and that the traffic and in particular road safety is adhered to. Is this a routine thing or is this a response to what many see as a heightening of tensions between bikey groups? We have no indication to, to, to show that there is any heightening of tensions between any outlaw motorcycle gangs in Queensland. We regularly use this form of management and this form of response to any um, large presence of outlaw motorcycle gangs in Queensland. And again, the reason for that is that um, members of the public driving along and seeing a large number of outlaw motorcycle gang members who may be disobeying traffic laws, etc., those members of the public could feel intimidated by that. The Queensland Police Service are using all the resources we have from within the regions and Task Force Hydra spearheading this um, to make sure that we um, have the community members feeling safe and knowing that we are on top of it in a position to be able to prevent or disrupt or deal with any instances that may occur. Is there any reason to suggest that the, the Gypsy Jokers are trying to increase their presence here or build their base here in Queensland? We hear that there's only a few members here currently. Um, all out, mo, 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 sorry. All outlaw motorcycle gang members um, um, recruit as in any organisation would do. So in respect to whether they're trying to make um, a, a huge recruitment drive, um, I'm not in a position to say that. But we're alive to the fact that um, all organisations try to recruit members. What are their numbers like in comparison to, say, a year ago? We have a very small number of gypsy outlaw motorcycle gang members. Do you know how many across Queensland? Yes, it's just a very small number. I'm not how prepared to How dangerous do you consider this uh, bikey group to be? All outlaw motorcycle gang members, if they're conducting criminal activity, we believe that they are a risk and we will continue to monitor them. In, in respect to this particular group, we have had no incidents of any offences here in Queensland and we will continue to work with our partner um, organisations throughout the country um, and with our own intelligence sources that we have here within Queensland to make sure that we're on top of any activity that occurs. What sort of criminal activity are you talking about or anticipating or preempting? Uh, I'm, I'm not prepared to say. You know, any, any outlaw motorcycle gangs can, can be involved in criminal activity. So, How do you, you know, think they will react to you know, such a strong, strong show of force from you guys? Well, they would have to expect that the Queensland Police Service would be doing everything we can to make, ensure public safety. We are not doing anything to um, antagonise this outlaw motorcycle gangs. Our policing response is an affirmative action to make sure that they understand that the Queensland Police Service will manage their activities within Queensland and will be on, on, on the lookout for any criminal activity or any breaches of traffic or disregard of the traffic laws. As you said, though, it's not an unlawful act to what you're doing, so their argument would be that you 
wasting resources on something that's not illegal. The Queensland Police Service will put our resources to any matter that we feel that we can ensure public safety. And in this way, we'll be managing the, the activities of that outlaw motorcycle gangs and ensuring that we have the correct resources in place um, to be able to deal with that and to be able to deal with any um, breaches of traffic or disregard of the traffic laws. What kind of manpower is going into this effort? We have sufficient resources um, to be able to do what we need to do. What kind of numbers are we talking about? I actually don't have the numbers at this time. What about what's involved in the police response in terms of are you doing highway patrols? Like what, what exactly are you doing? We will be doing some overt policing in respect to um, managing what they do, um, and I'm not prepared to talk about our operational response. So I imagine that does it discourage them from building up or, or setting up shop in Brisbane or Queensland in general? Is that sort of part of it as well? The purpose of, of our um, activity is to make sure that the Queensland Police Service is able to manage um, any events that occurs, um, particularly we'll be able to manage any disregard of the traffic laws or any criminal activity that may occur. Uh, and we will be, um, we would do this for any other outlaw motorcycle gang. We do this for other events where the members of the public may be um, inconvenienced or that there may be um, a per perception by members of the public that they feel threatened or intimidated. But you wouldn't want them to expand their presence here, that's what I'm saying. Is that sort of part of this as well? If there is um, legal activity, we have no, no issues with that, any legal activity. It's the criminal activity that we'll be making sure that we manage. Are you concerned then that there'll be a turf war because we have no intelligence to believe that there will be um, any turf war. We are alive to the fact that any criminal organisation may be involved, um, it's, there may be some tensions between criminal organisations in respect to um, the, the different sort of activity that they are in. But we have no intelligence to indicate that this group or any other group is, is likely to be involved in a um, turf war. Do you know what route this poker run is going to take? No, at this stage I don't know. Starting here or this is a focal point? Or well, this is where they're based, so we will um, take whatever action we have to do to take that. Do you have any advice for motorists who might come across it? Do you want to speak to that? Yeah. Just tell me when you're ready. Okay, you want to fire away? Can you just say your name and rank? Yeah, it's Chief Superintendent, Acting Chief Superintendent Andy Morrow from the State Traffic Support Branch. Do you have any advice for motorists who might come across this poker run? Yeah, well, look, with any of these big events where you have large numbers of people travelling on the road, they're competing for road space often with other road users. So we would just encourage people to be cautious, just to be mindful of the fact that uh, they are sharing the road with others. In this case, it's an outlaw motorcycle gang. Uh, it's the sort of people that, uh, uh, that obviously people need to be cautious of. Uh, so that's why we're putting forward a very strong police presence here. Uh, and that is to ensure that the safety of the public on the roads, the motoring public and the public in general uh, during the course of this event. How many are you expecting and is there any requirement from them such as are they not allowed to go in a massive pack or...? Look, I, I won't give you the precise numbers that we have. We, we have our own intelligence sources, so it's important that I protect those sorts of things. I can say to you there will be a large number. We anticipate a large number. I can tell you that provided the, uh, the, the, uh, the run complies with, the, with traffic regulations, and all the other regulations that ordinary members of the public are required to comply with every day, then they'll have no problems with the police. Uh, but they should be warned that if the laws are broken, if traffic regulations and rules are broken, uh, we will act. And we will either act immediately or we will act at a time of our choosing. Uh, whatever uh, method we take, it will be done with a view to public safety and making sure that the, the, the motoring public and the public generally uh, are, are our priority and they will be the ones kept safe. But you don't deny you'll be heavy-handed in terms of breath testing, bike checks and things like that with these guys? Well, no more so than any other group of people that we have concerns with. Uh, if we have a group of people out there that are using the roads and we have uh, reason to believe or we observe or we have reports of, of poor driving behaviour, of, of drinking and riding, etc., well, we'll act in that way, the way we would act uh, when we receive reports of a like nature in relation to any group or individual. As I say, uh, if, this, uh, if this run goes off without... Uh, without a hitch and everybody behaving themselves and complying with the law, then uh, we'll, we'll be able to, uh, to say at the end of the day that this went off without, without injury, without, without problems, without breaking of, of laws, and that's a good thing. But, uh, but of course, if, if there are laws broken, we'll, um, we'll take the relevant action. But the members can expect to be breath tested multiple times, have their bikes checked, things like that? Well, the exact operational details of what we, what we have planned, that's a, that is a matter of operational uh, 
uh, confidence, so I wouldn't be prepared to, to go into the detail about that. But I can say that they will be observed, uh, they will be closely observed, we'll be monitoring their activities here, both on the road and elsewhere, by a variety of sources. And as I say, if offences are committed, uh, then we will take the appropriate action. And how can you believe it begins tomorrow and, and lasts for days? Or how, what, what do you well, the, we know that, uh, that the group will be here for some days. Uh, the exact uh, time of departure is a matter for the group. Uh, when they conclude this run will again be a matter for the group. Uh, unlikely that they'll talk to us about when that might be. Uh, but we'll be simply observing and monitoring and watching and we will react uh, in terms of any actions taken. How concerned are you that the bikers will use intimidation tactics out on the road to, towards other drivers? Well, uh, as I say, we don't, we don't really have any intelligence to suggest that that will happen, but we will certainly be deployed in sufficient numbers so that if there is any intimidation tactics used by any member of this group, as with any other member of the public, we certainly wouldn't stand by and let that happen and the appropriate action will be taken. You know, we'll, we'll become involved. Do you have any idea as to why they chose to leave those cities? Do they don't have any um, reference? Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'm happy to stick to any of the sort of traffic flow question stuff, but escorted, otherwise... Will they be escorted start to finish as soon as they cross the border? No, they won't be escorted. We're not providing an escort to this group, uh, but we are providing a, an intensive observation um, so we'll be travelling with them, we'll be observing, uh, but, uh, but in terms of providing an escort, absolutely not. No. No, that's up to the, the, um, the group to, to work out where they go. They, they always have their um, runs at different locations throughout the country um, each time, um, and um, they haven't had one in Queensland. When do you think they'll start to assemble here? Oh, that's a matter for themselves. Um, you know, I don't know. We are in a position to manage that um, when, they, when that happens. Are you aware of um, their violent past or uh, the, the history in other states? The Queensland Police Service has a very strong relationship with um, our national partners and we share information at all times, so we are quite aware of the information that we need to know to be able to manage this event. So has there been trouble on previous runs? Um, there, there has been, on, on some times there has been, um, but um, we have no intelligence whatsoever to indicate that that may happen here in Queensland. But given their violent history, they're obviously at risk. Any group of people could, could, anything could occur. So we will be here in a position to be able to manage what occurs. What kind of trouble has there been on recent runs? There hasn't been any on recent runs. Okay. There, there's the, quite historical information. Uh, I'm here from Metropolitan Northridge and as you can see we have our major um, facilities. We're here to look after the, the community and to ensure that the safety of the community that live within this area um, and our presence will remain whilst the, the um, outlaw motorcycle gang is in this area. How do you think the people in these sort of houses here are feeling? Is Nervous, no doubt. Um, we have spoken to all of them. We have door knocked. We've spoken to everyone. They are very, very thankful for our presence um, and are also very thankful that we've taken the time to explain why we're here and that we will take enforcement action. But as um, Acting Chief Superintendent Morrow said, any actions that we do take will be taken at a time that is, ensures the safety of not only the public but also the police officers. How much of a presence will you have inside the club rooms once they do arrive? Are you expecting to you know, just patrol it or just keep a watchful eye? No, we will just continue to, to um, monitor the situation as we currently are and we're not going to go into exactly how our operations are going to work. What have you got set up here? We have our mobile police facility um, which gives us the, um, the ability to do any sort of checking we want etc. It's like a small police station mm -hmm. that's set up here with our mobile facilities. Will this remain here? Overnight. This will be here, our presence will be here 24-7. Until they leave? Yes. Do you know what their base is? Is it a, a, a normal house or...? No, their base is not a home. What kind of structure is it? They're, they're in an industrial area. Okay. Have police been in touch with anyone from the Gypsy Joes? Please just to issue a warning or explain what you're doing. Well, that's, that's for um, Chief okay. Superintendent Hogan yeah. to explain, yes. I'm only looking after the Metropolitan North community's interests. Thank you very much. Thanks, folks.